Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in with leaders from the global connectivity real estate uh, markets and also the networks within. Uh, so I'm joined today by one of those leaders, one of the one of the biggest uh, data center operators in, in Norway and really the world. Um, so we're here with Green Mountain with uh, Sylvain um, Hagaseth from Green Mountain, uh, CEO. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I'm very nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Well, we're happy to have you here. We're really excited to chat with you just a bit today um, before you run off to your panel. Yep. <laughs> very, very busy guy at this conference. Um, so first of all, of course, Green Mountain is well known in our industry, uh, very, uh, very much a leader in sustainable and dependable colo data center. So could you just tell us uh, quickly um, you, you, why folks uh, choose to co-locate with you all? What is kind of your differentiator in this space? Yeah, I think it's uh, just what you mentioned, the ability to deliver uh, truly carbon neutral or close to carbon neutral data centers is one of the drivers of a lot of the clients that we have at our, our data centers. Um, so the sustainability aspect is important. Um, it has been since we started 10 years ago and it continues to be. Uh, and it as it becomes more and more important for other uh, clients and partners out there, and they tend to gravitate to the companies who are able to deliver that both short term and long term. And Green Mountain is one of the companies who are able to do that. Mm. In addition to that, Norway is very fortunate mm. because we have opportunity of scale. Mm. So especially now with a lot of AR workloads mm. uh, dominating the market in Green Mountain, uh, we have the opportunity to both serve one, two, three, four, five megawatt of capacity, mm. but also larger scale deployments and large campus deployments up to 250 megawatt. Mm. So so that ability to be able to deliver carbon neutral data centers to both small and larger clients attracts a lot of uh, attention in the market in Europe, which is fairly constrained, especially on power. Yeah, excellent. Okay, thank you. And and so there are tons of great discussions happening at the conference this week. Um, could you just share one trend? We're asking, you know, all the thought leaders who are joining us uh, on JSA TV to just talk about a trend or two that you're seeing maybe for 2024. Um, yeah, so of course, <laughs> this is an ESG conference. Mm -hmm. So of course, a lot of the discussions are related to, uh, to new regulation on ESG. Uh, so I see a lot of the dialogues goes on that. And as also the workloads are getting bigger and bigger, mm -hmm. the ability to uh, to be able to serve that in a sustainable fashion uh, seems to be getting a lot of attention at this conference as well. So now it's not just uh, something that you're able to say, mm -hmm. but you need to be able to actually show it and you need to be able to report on the ESG uh, aspect. So we see a lot of clients who, who really would like to go uh, carbon neutral mm -hmm. um, or really would like to go s sustainable uh, and not just buy themselves uh, sustainable. Mm -hmm. So the ability to both be able to not just say but actually report it is also mm -hmm. a lot of the discussion in regards to how can Norway or how can we in Europe be able to deliver uh, according to the, to the regulation that is coming in the market. Yeah, absolutely. We're hearing a lot about that. The deliverability, the, you know, how can we really take action together is such a core central theme of this conference. And also the the reporting, um, absolutely. Uh, you know, um, and holding ourselves accountable. Um, so uh, one last question about the sustainability report uh, that Green Green Mountain put out, I believe, back in July. Mm -hmm. You could just kind of tell us a quick uh, takeaway, one of the one of the core takeaways from that. Yeah, this was our uh, second sustainability report that we had in uh, Green Mountain this year. We had uh, had a lot of discussion until we delivered our first one, and then we truly saw the value of actually being able to to put out our own report and and the ability to report on on given metrics in the in the industry. We thought we were pretty good on sustainability until we did our first report, and we got a couple of punches in the face and uh, needed to to do a couple of things differently. Uh, but I think it by having a sustainability report, you kind of visualize a lot of the things that you're doing well. Mm. but also the things that you're not doing well, mm. right? So the ability to con to constantly continue to push the needle. So we, for instance, from last year to this year, we were able to, uh, to uh, reduce our carbon emissions by close to 10% wow. because we were able to visualize the things that we thought we were doing well mm -hmm. until we actually started on reporting it. And as we reported on it, we saw that, oh, this we actually need to do this differently. Mm. Uh, so I think, I think it's... Um, maturity aspect for us as an organization um, so that was one of the things that we, we did 
Also, we saw that last year when we did the reporting, we thought we were okay on on uh, recycling, mm. but we were able to increase it by another 16, 17% this year mm. to, to 92%. Wow. Still uh, some way to go, but still also kind of the visualization of what that actually means. And then, of course, when you give out a report, especially if you're a company like Green Mountain, mm. where the DNA of the company is setting the green standard, mm. you need to make sure that when you uh, provide that report, it is accurate. Uh, and that was also one of the things that we we needed to kind of have a, a, a few rounds again, mm -hmm. is how transparent can we be in regards to sustainability? And we put all cards on the table in regards to, to that report. So there's no hidden hidden things, no mark. It's not a marketing activity. It's mm -hmm. a true report of what we're doing well, but also what we're not doing well and what we need to improve. I love that. That level of transparency mm -hmm. is so important. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Well, thank you, Svein. It was great chatting with you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And to all of our viewers back home, thank you for joining us on JSA TV. Happy networking.